Hey everyone, this is Ranger14 doing tips and advice. This is Season 3 ADC, guys. I've been watching, waiting, theory crafting, so I can give you guys the best information. Here we go. Tips number one, item choice. Guys, boots through pots is not acceptable anymore. It really isn't. So either you need to go longsword two pots if you really think you're going to take the damage and you need those pots for sustain, or go Doran's Blade. You do get a lot of sustain out of Doran's Blade, but you also get that 80 health, which is going to help you survive in lane. Also, it gives you that 10 damage that you wouldn't have had with boots and three pots. So please, go with those builds. Try them out. Tip number two, play to your item. Guys, I don't have those extra pots because I went Doran's Blade. So I'm staying in the back. I'm not getting hit with Ezreal's Mystic Shot. And I'm letting my Doran's Blade passive really keep me in lane. This is really important. If you do have that long sword and two pots, though, you can get a little dirty knowing that those pots will keep you in lane. But again, play to your items, guys. I've seen a lot of people have stopped doing golems, but guys, tip number three, golem boost, you want that experience, it's a free gift to you from the league gods. So kill the small golem quickly, and then you're going to bounce around the big golem from each player. You're going to take a little bit of damage, but remember, that golem, when you do kill it, is going to heal someone. So give it to your ADC, use your mana biscuit or whatever you want to do, you're the support, you're going to be in the back anyways. Get that experience boost for your lane. A couple seconds down the road, Trishana tries to run into lane. I want her to run all the way around, so I'm going to poke and do a little bit of damage. She only has a Doran's Blade. She cannot pay the cost of getting dirty. However, Vayne does have two pots, and we can pay that. As soon as Trist jumps, I call out, we're going to kill Tristana. And we're going to do as much damage as we possibly can to Tristana. Alistar is way too far back to help. Vayne pops a pot and immediately starts doing damage to her. Alistar does interrupt, but again, that was a lot of damage that Tristana cannot recover from. Because of the Golem experience boost, though, Vayne is now level 2. So she walks into the bush. I do not think Tristana realizes that Vayne is level 2 to her level 1, and Vayne immediately pushes her into the wall and does enough burst damage to kill her. This is a great job. This brings us to tip number 4. Barrier or cleanse. Guys, you really don't need to ignite anymore. If you don't need cleanse for your lane, I would suggest going barrier. This helps you with the burst damage and things that you might take. However, if you're playing a champion like Kogma that has no escape, you might want to get cleanse just so you can avoid the couple things that might hit you that will make it so you'll die instantly when, if you had a cleanse, you'd be able to get away. Focusing more a little bit on barrier here, there's a fight that's about to happen at the tower, and there's a lot of diving that's going to be done. However, this barrier is going to keep him alive at the tower. It's a really good play by Graves to kind of bait that. You want to bait it. You don't want to just pop it instantly and be okay. Right here, he baits the barrier, making Draven waste all that and be stuck at the tower. So right here, a great play by Graves to pick up that kill just because of the barrier bait. It was such a good play, we're not going to focus on that flash. If you're overextended in lane, guys, tip number five, do golems and wolves. Don't sit in lane and be like, oh, I might be overextended. I'll just wait by tower. No, get in the jungle, acquire gold, and kill enemies. Like, holy cow. Tip number six, free poke. Vayne does have the Bork done, so immediately Tristan is too far back. He's going to do the three hits, and as he backs up, he's going to shoot the last one off and then back off. This is free poke. This is free damage that he just did in lane because of his heads-up play. Tip number seven, if you're a combo-based comp, pull off the combo. It sounds common, but a lot of people just sit around and don't pull it off. So here, he does have the item advantage barely on Draven, so he's going to do the entire combo. Draven luckily gets away here, but again, this is forcing Draven out of lane. He loses money, he loses experience, and you get a free lane. Pull off your combo, guys. Alright, tip number 8, runes. Alright, I run flat everything. 80 reds, 80 quints, magic resist blues, and armor yellows. However, super secret ninja tip, I run a crit rune. And the reason for that is level 1, 2, or 3, when I'm fighting someone 1v1 and I crit him, it scares the shit out of him. That's what I run. Alright, now if I'm playing someone like Draven or Caitlyn, I do run armor pen reds. The reason for this is because mid game's a little bit hard, and I don't need that damage in lane. I'm going to be just fine in lane. So I'm able to substitute in armor pen runes. Now on with tip number nine, masteries. All right, masteries, guys, offensive left side, just, just get it all. Just click everything right there. 21 points, good. Okay, now nine points you get to go, depending on what you want. If you're going to play someone that doesn't need the mana, go defensive. Get that health. But if you want the mana for Ezreal Corky, make sure to get the mana utility. Thank you so much, everyone on Reddit. Thank you for just blowing up my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I am back. I am no longer distracted. I am here to help you guys. We have to cover mid, jungle, ADC. So much has changed. Uh, can't forget top lane and supports. Oh, I love the supports. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I have a channel on North American servers, a TAA. I would love to talk to you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on there. My name is Ranger14, and I will see you guys in the next video.